Away from that story, the multimedia group has held a remembrance service for its former general manager of Joy Brands, Elvis Koku Kwashi, affectionately called Efo Koku. Sympathizers, colleagues, uh, staff, families eulogized the real boss, describing him as an epitome of professionalism and standards. It was a solemn atmosphere as families, colleagues, sympathizers and staff of Multimedia Group gathered at the remembrance service of one of their own, the late Elvis Kokukwashi. Someone encouraged guests to feel free and cry, ask all the questions, but at the end, encourage themselves in the Lord. Minister of Information, Kojo Oponikuma, a former staff of the company, eulogized the late Elvis Kokukwashi. We all sit here and listen to the testimonies about Elvis. I think it should be clear to all of us that someday we will all pass and there will be an opportunity for people to share with us or to share with the world what we meant to them. The real question is what would we be remembered for and what is the value system that we would have left behind. For president of the Ghana Journalists Association, Roland Afelmoni, a vacuum has been created in the fraternity. Our heart cake can only be cured by holding aloft the banner of high impact journalism Elvis Pashi has left with us. May his soul rest in perfect peace. After working with the multimedia group for close to 13 years, Elvis Kokukoshi's demise has hit hard at staff and colleagues who are struggling to come to terms with his demise. These are some fond memories they shared. There's so many things that from management perspective they need to communicate and he was actually on the ball to make sure that you understand what's going on and to get you on board. Always encouraging you to give off your best and it's something that we will all miss. I worked with him directly as my direct boss and I remember the last few days he met all of us and then he asked that all of us should share with him feedback about what we do not like about him, that we would want to see him improve. For me, that was pure humility. He was a very humble person. Of all the things I spoke with Elvis about, I couldn't tell him, or I failed to tell him that he should be taking care of himself. He took care of everybody, but I don't think he took care of himself the way he should have. So we have lost him, there's no way we can have him back, but I want to believe that he's resting in the bosom of the Lord. The final funeral rites have been slated for February 18 and 19, with the burial service taking place at Church of Pentecost, Mataiko. Elvis Kokukwashi has answered the master's call. Let me borrow a line from the sermon. May his departure leave lasting memories on our minds and unite families friends and loved ones. May his soul rest in perfect peace. George Quinn, TV3 News, Kokumimli.